Christian beliefs as derived and inferred from the Bible according to Constantine on the authority and authenticity of the New Testament. Part 1. First of all don't tell me the Bible teaches the resurrection of Jesus peace be upon him, his crucifixion, his death on the cross, etc. Mainly, essentially and simply because the book you are talking about and referring to as the Bible, is not, was not, and will never be the same book. Different versions of the Bible existed yesterday, today, and will exist tomorrow. There was never a time in history when there was a unanimous Bible, nor will there ever be one single unanimous Bible. The history of the scripture is a tedious task for the person who is willing to approach it, set aside the Old Testament problems, the books of what now came to be known as the New Testament did not qualify as a sacred revelation, they were certainly not scriptures to the Jews contemporary to Jesus peace be upon him, Jesus peace be upon him himself did not leave as a written account of his religious mission, a book of divine revelation, a testimony or a holy writ. Even the term gospel, which comes from the Anglo-Saxon, God spell is a translation of the word evangelion which means in Greek, good news, of glad tidings. Well, the books of the New Testament do however refer to the fact that Jesus peace be upon him, did preach the gospel, but without giving us explicit details of what exactly that might have been, i whether it was a divine book of revelation or merely a set of teachings to be memorized and circulated as an oral tradition. What we have today among the books of the New Testament, are four accounts of the story or biography of Jesus from the beginnings right to the ascension. But the authority and authenticity of these books, as well as of the rest of the books of the New Testaments, namely the Acts of the Apostles, and the Epistles, are much doubted by many text critics and by several Bible scholars. It is a widely accepted fact that no book of the New Testament, was written before a period of 30 to 70 years after Christ. This is a relatively long period after which it is difficult to expect to have a compilation of the exact event. One could not avoid the possibility of alteration of the account, deletions, loss of memory, and additions for prejudiced and pragmatic goals. One must understand the nature of the period during which Jesus peace be upon him was living and the period immediately following it, that Palestine was under both foreign rule, and foreign cultural influences of a wide variation. Many pagan faiths and various philosophies existed and dwelt in the area for a long time before and after Christ. It is obvious that the short-lived mission of Jesus' peace be upon him, in such an environment was easily corrupted both doctrinal speaking and politically speaking. That is why and how any unbiased reader of the history of this critical era, would understand and appreciate the great difference between Judaism and Christianity, even though Jesus' peace be upon him, was a great Hebrew prophet, and the last one, in a series of successive Israelite prophets, sent by the highest, unto the Israelites, to worship the one and only God, correct their ways and prepare for the good news, the advent of Muhammad peace be upon him. But during discussions of this nature, how could one comfort the mind of our Christian brothers and sisters? You see, a thorough scientific and historical investigation and research, could lead a sincere Christian scholar, student, a devout truth seeker, to doubt his faith or maybe discard faith altogether, without thinking of a third option. To resort to the Most High, the one and only God that there is. He might ask himself, how could God leave his true faith subject to such anarchy, a mess, total annihilation, and destruction? How could God be the author of such confusion? How could he allow that the truth would be tampered with? that the truth would just vanish in the haze. Well, he didn't. God has tried man, starting with Adam, and then his offspring who proved unable and unfit to be entrusted with the commandments and tenets of God. Mortals proved unable to keep awake watching with their master for one single night. With the conclusion that the soul is strong, but the flesh is weak. So God decided to release mankind of this duty, the duty of preserving the revelation and keeping it intact. So he sent Muhammad peace be upon him, with a revelation that proves true all previous revelations, correcting, amending, and quality controlling the accounts of the previous great prophets, and clearly defining man's role and mission on earth. 